We, we came up with it during a very intense dinner at, um, at the Black Hole Bistro. It was amazing. All right, um, yeah, hold on. All right, so, theory of everything. Can you, can you, can you, yes. you can be like my grad student assistant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Press again. All right, this is our abstract. We solved it. Next slide. This is the paper. All right, so we put quantum mechanics together with general relativity. Function. This, this is the core of the theory of quantitivity. <laughs> you you already might want to look away for this part. I don't know if there's still in the audience. Yes, yes. Sh shield your eyes. Yes. Um, you, you see, you see the the, the, cl the uh, club is, is very important in this function. Okay. Look again. The power of one. The power of one. The power of one. Yes. Well, yes, yes. If, if you want to normalize it, sure. Okay. And, and and this this is the, the the evaluated value of the quantitivity function, 42. All right, next slide. These are our calculations. <laughs> now, as you know, before you click, I just want to know, as as you've seen, when we combine the theories of quantum mechanics and general relativity, we get unexplained infinities. But in quantitivity, we can explain them. Please look. As you see, <laughs> using, using this very simple quantitivity relation, we can, <laughs> we can get a real number from, from these infinities, uh, a, a very nice integer. Moving on. Yes, okay. So, so now we have something. You are just proves. Now we have a very nice function to represent these infinities, and we plugged it in. And um, please click one more time. <laughs> And we get this very nice relationship down here. Um, please click. Note, notice that we need to use 17.5 7, dimensions <laughs> for these functions to work. Next, next slide, please. These are some of. The, now, when, when you use 17.5 dimensional space time, it yields some interesting results. One of these being um, b to the e to the i to the pi to the psi of y equals word. <laughs> Next, please. Now, we also discovered that the psi of y equation is over 9,000. Yeah! Please, please, please click. This is known as Murphy's Law. <laughs> yes. Okay. It, you know, they make any presentation better. These are, this is the greatness level. That's our theory. This is all the other theories. And uh, this is dark matter. We, we don't really know, you know, what what's, what's it really is, what's supposed to go there. We're just using dark matter right now. Ne next slide, please. Okay, so now you can see the relationship of the number of dimensions in our theories. Quantum quantitivity uses about 17.5 space-time dimensions. String theory is, is something like 50, I, I don't even know. <laughs> Special quantitivity is negative 2. This, this part of the theory is still, still a work in progress, but, but it should yield fascinating insights into our world. Next slide, please. Okay, so, so at, at the end of the day, uh, uh, this, this is just freaky. This is the end. It's profoundly bizarre, but ultimately, 
Oh, this is way, way cool. <laughs>